All right, kids. Uh, you know, workout two of this week is very similar to workout one of last week. Yes, that sounds right. We've got a pretty simple warm up. Not going to go through. I do want to talk about these this A and B, the hundred reps, as we did this last time. The goal today is to. That's right back there. The goal today is to get through um, by taking less breaks. So. Hey, let's say last time you were averaging 15 to 20 reps per set. This time you might want to average, uh, I don't know, 18 to 22. We want to try and do it in less sets. I know a few people complained, hey, I got to like 50 and I had to move on or I got my neoprene dumbbells out my two pound weights or whatever. In that case, excuse me, breakfast here. In that case, we want to get more reps than, hey, last time I... I had to make an adjustment at, <clears throat> excuse me, at 50. Hey, today I made an adjustment at 65. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. Some sort of improvement on last time. <clears throat> uh, we got the rows as well. Similar story. Uh, we did split this between arms, right? 50-50. And uh, we want to aim for more reps per set as well. So if you did five sets of 10, maybe... Um, sets of 12 or 13, right? Four sets of 12 is 48. So uh, two sets of 12, two sets of 13, that, that should be 150 per side. And the last part, uh, you'll see I've brought the bear crawls back. What you'll need is about um, 10 or 12 feet, uh, 14 or 15 if you're you know really gonna go for it. I think, I think at the gym we use about 14 feet. I'm just in my kitchen here. And, uh, boom, that'll work, right? It's uh, up against the cabinet there. I go back and forth against the wall. It's probably about 10 or 12 feet. Remember, we're gonna crawl forward on the way down. You'll tap and you'll crawl backwards on the way back and you'll hit the wall. That's two lengths, so I'm the fifth of the way there. We've got our burpees, easy burpees. We don't love those. And we've got some hollow rocks. Um, which I want to go over again because uh, they don't struggle. Hollow rocks are meant to do two things. One, work your core. Two, slow down. If you try and rush these, they're going to be garbage. So go slow, take your time with these. And I've got some space on the floor. All right? Pull up my pants because they're falling down. It's always important. And I'm going to brace my core, lift my legs, crunch up, and we're going to rock. I want to do that again, and this time I don't want, but listen, listen. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Of course you didn't, because you're not supposed to hear anything. Yes, my phone fell out of my pocket. But that's about it. So if you hear big banging and slamming and clanging, it means it means that you're slamming and banging and clanging. My body is a nice rounded shape, so I should always be rolling. If I'm slamming, it means I'm unrounded. I've disengaged my core at some point. Usually on one extreme or the other, we uh, sometimes relax that crunch as we go back. Or sometimes we try and slam our legs down to come forward, right? But if we just stay tight, you're in a rounded shape, you just have to rock on that nice rounded banana shape and there's no slam, there's no noise. So when you get to the hollow rocks, listen, am I slamming? Are the plates jostling in the kitchen? Are the pictures falling off the walls? If they are, that means we're doing something wrong. Not too bad today, should be fun. Um, Happy Tuesday or whatever it is.